Good afternoon, dear colleagues, dear chairman. In the beginning of my presentation, I would like to talk about onco-nephrology. International Nephrology Associations realized that the connection of uh, renal disorders and oncology is a real problem nowadays. There are working groups uh, that deal with this problem and uh, here you see the number of issues that they face. Uh, first it's acute renal, uh, renal failure, nephrotoxicity, paraneuroplasticic nephropathia. Uh, it's uh, a replacement of uh, replacing renal therapy, transplantation of uh, kidney to patients with oncology uh, disease and it's also anti uh, pain treatment in patients with cancer and treatment of patients after uh, kidney replacement the first research devoted to the problem to of acute uh, disorders was uh, conducted in Denmark in 1999-2006. Um, the uh, development of acute renal failure uh, during the first year uh, equal to 17%, 75, uh, 5%. Then in Canada, bigger study was conducted. Um, more than 160,000 patients took uh, place, took part in the study, and um, uh, these were the patients who received the anti-tumor uh, medical therapy, and the groups, risk groups, were uh, revealed. Uh, these were the patients uh, with the. Uh, um, uterine cancer and kidney cancer and others. So what are the factors? This is an uh, increase in creatinine uh, up, uh, for more than 0 0.3 milligram uh, during the first day, then uh, increase in creatinine uh, in, of blood in blood uh, serum and diuresis uh, less than 0 0.5 milliliter per kilogram per hour during six hours. These factors allow us to um, state the diagnosis. The, this is an established classification that uh, sets three stages of severity. The first stage is uh, increase in creatinine uh, by 1.5 to 1.9. Uh, the second stage uh, from 2 to 2 and 9. And the third stage is uh, increase in creatinine by three, uh, three times uh, during the f in in um, patients and in patients younger than 18 years of age, um, less than 35 milliliter per minute. Risk factors of acute disorder. These are the general factors that include dehydration, senior age, uh, females, um, the uh, um, Negro ethnic groups, diabetes, chronic somatic pathology, anemia, and um, intake of certain uh, medication. Patients with uh, malignant tumors are in special risk group because they have uh, additional factors. They take a nephrotoxic medication, then massive uh, blood loss related to um, tumor, uh, vesicle tumor, then also compression of uh, urinary ducts, uh, lymphatic nodes, etc. Also thrombosis of uh, renal arteries and um, um, other factors. 
The reason of uh, disorder, renal disorder in Onca patient is uh, has multiple factors, but there are three um, general groups, and the treatment is uh, dependent on these three groups. The first one, pre-renal, uh, uh, which includes loss of uh, uh, liquids, together with uh, the uh, decrease in intravascular uh, volumes because of hemorrhages, uh, nausea, diarrhea, uh, spasms, vascular spasms, uh, in, in the background of uh, sepsis, and uh, dilatation of afferent uh, arterioles. One of the main uh, causes in this case is uh, sepsis. Another group is renal uh, di dis dysfunctions acute, dark necrosis can happen when pre-renal um, dysfunction is t takes a longer time and causes cell necrosis. And the most common cause is uh, toxic dark necrosis that is related to medical toxicity, chemotherapy. This group also includes um, acute uh, nephritis uh, that includes and also um, occlusion of uh, renal vesicles and uh, infiltration infiltration of tumor cells mm, and uh, and also um, d disturbances uh, in membrane membrane uh, nephro nephrology and others another group is post renal dysfunction obstruction of uh, urinary tracts it's um, acute nephropathia and uh, post-radiation fibrosis um, because of radiation in um, um, low abdominal areas, Neuro nephrotoxicity is one of the main uh, causes of renal dysfunction. The severity of the case depends on the combination of medication and the dosage, and also the state of the uh, kidneys. This will determine the severity of the case. The reaction can be uh, um, related to uh, re um, immune reactions and um, Urine acid nephropathia is also uh, possible. Mm -hmm. What are the main groups of nephrotoxic medications? First one is alkyrilic medications, uh, platinum uh, combinations, uh, carboplatin and tisplatin. Uh, Pyrimidine, Hydra, uh, and uh, various uh, anti tumor antibiotics. Mo more recent medications, inhibitors of angiogenesis, uh, checkpoint inhibitors, and others. So, as for certain medications, Tetaplastin. Uh, so, in this case, nephrotoxicity can. Uh, uh, happen happens in uh, 28 to 36 uh, percent of uh, cases, and uh, these um, numbers are so low because of uh, preventive therapies. The complications depend on the dosage, hyperalbuminemia, and renal function. A female also smoking. Localization is uh, proximal uh, proximal areas of uh, uh, canals 
the symptoms of the dysfunction usually reveal themselves on the third, fifth day after the injection. Electrolyte dysfunction uh, disturbances are also possible. Preventive uh, tisplatin treatment um, include division of uh, total dose uh, of, uh, per five days and the um, total dose uh, should be no more than 120 milligram per uh, square meter. Metatrixate, nephrotoxicity usually happens only in high dosages, but this complication happens very seldom. Acute tabular necrosis uh, can happen and preventive measures uh, will be uh, uh, related to uh, to um, to correction of uh, urine composition making it alkaline and uh, also correction of creatinine um, a combination if as famid proximal canal areas are damaged usually and hemorrhagic uh, cystitis is, uh, can happen in this case uh, the uh, control urine control every day um, is uh, necessary in this case and also uh, it's necessary to stop uh, in, in administration of this uh, medicine if there are any complications uh, we are talking about uh, bivazumab the side effects are uh, arterial hypertension and uh, proteinuria if it's possible to minimize the complications. It's better to continue the administration of uh, the uh, medication, but in case of uh, acute uh, renal uh, dysfunction, uh, it's better to cancel the administration of this uh, medication and uh, use uh, um, fresh frozen plasma. As for inhibitor kinase, acute uh, renal failure is described and uh, localization is also shown on this slide, but there are no uh, detailed numbers about the uh, treatment and um, uh, certain cases. Inhibitors of uh, control points of immunity the percentage of cases may be higher than shown on the slide. It's one to three percent of cases. And um, focal segmental sclerosis is possible in this case. So in conclusion, I would like to say that chemotherapy um, prolongs longevity, but um, renal reaction that's why acute renal damage requires interdisciplinary approach and joint efforts of oncologists and nephrologists. Thank you for your attention.